Lucky's wheels and deals. We back at again with another lit video, you guys. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get this rim repaired. everywhere yeah, oh man is this crack right here too or was that Y'all don't sell these rooms, huh? No. Okay. All right, thank you. What is that called? The uh, winch? Is that what it's called? The wrench? Winch? Whatever. So yeah, I got the hook and everything, and I'm just gonna hook that up to my trailer. Get it welded on. So I can't repair that rim. So I'm gonna have to just sell. That's what I'm about to do to sell those rims. Well, he had air in it. I don't know how long it hold air, but I'm just gonna sell it. Uh, I'm just telling one rim is just cracked. Just sell it like that. It'd be like, I'm gonna check see if it holds air and see how long it holds air. And then I can tell him like, well, it holds air for three days or it holds air for a week. Or don't hold air at all. But I know the dude was driving those. They came right off the car when I bought them. So I don't know how bad the crack is or whatever. But um, man, they all cracked up. He just showed me like yeah, they all cracked up. But um, hey, I tried to fix it. But I'll probably just sell them like that, man. Just sell it as a crack run. But before I post it. I need to check to make sure and see how long, you know, so when I'm, you know, help me with my sales skills, man. Like, I'll be like, well, it holds air for a week. And you're just going to have to keep adding air, you know. I need to know more about it, more about the rim and the tire. So that's why I'm going to start off doing that first. And then I'm going to jack my trailer up, take the rim off. Hopefully I didn't damage up the rim because I was driving the rim. When it got flat, I was driving the rim. Uh, I was driving on the trailer rim for a while and it was sparking. So hopefully I didn't damage the rim. Hopefully I don't have to buy a new rim or whatever. So um, hopefully I just get this buy a tire and call it a day. But we'll see. I'm gonna jack the trailer, take the rim off, and then go take it to the um, trailer spot and see everything that they can uh, fix. Unc told me that they can fix everything that I need. So. I'm gonna go over there, so I'll see y'all when I get over there. Let's get it. Took it a little easy yesterday, man. I had a long day. I was really getting tired. But uh, we're gonna fill Sylvia up. We gotta fill Sylvia up, man. This, she's a workaholic. Someone put $5, man. Someone was doing real bad. Shout out to them. Well, somebody was going bad. Let me get my card out one time. Oh, let me show y'all, man. Y'all know I keep it raw and uncut. Hold on. Oh, approved. All right. All right, so now I don't need the receipt. Do this. 91. Dang, that wasn't even one gallon. You ain't gonna be able to do nothing with that with five dollars. They must have been old school or something. What are they driving a lawnmower filling up a uh 
filling up a, a gas can. Hopefully they're just filling up a gas can, y'all. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and change this. I already got the jack and everything. Already got everything taken off of there. Um, let's see. So we already got this tore up. This the one that came off the thing. So you said what? Oh, I don't got no change on that. Um, so man, this is what happened, and it took me a while to get this. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this changed out. This was bad. So this is from the trailer, y'all. So I need to get this changed most definitely. This one was starting to crack. If y'all can see it right there, it was starting to crack. Um, so basically, I'm gonna go ahead and change all four. Well, shit. Yeah, all four tires. I'm gonna start off with changing these two. Hopefully this will still hold the air, man. Hopefully, maybe they could bang it back in place. Hopefully it holds air. It might hold air. Hopefully, hopefully I don't have to go buy a whole nother room because I want all my rooms to match, so. Hopefully, so I'm just gonna get a uh, trailer tire. Like I said, they'll work so much better because they can handle the road and handle the load. And where y'all think it's gonna end at? Where y'all think? Okay, and close these. Remember the bet. 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 And where y'all think it's gonna end at? I don't know. This is hey, Big Sylvia. Hey, she she one hungry mother lover. She one mother lover. Big Sylvia, man. Gas hog. But she's not that, I don't know, 6.2. She's not that bad. Well, all my cars is seeing about pretty much the same. And it's still going, it's still going. So, and then, oh yeah, I gotta find a drop. I need, I need one that drops lower. Since this car is the Trail Boss. And no, guys, I heard someone say, did you, why did you take it off? I bought this truck without the Trail Boss logos on there. I mean, it was already like that. They never installed them or put them on or whatever. But I need another hitch with the drop. So that's all I got to do. But, dang, there you go. 64.76. I went down there $65, man. Fill up this thing. $65 to fill this thing up. What a shame, what a shame. But yeah, hopefully they, everyone start buying these electric cars and uh, maybe the gas prices go down because the sales will drop. The gas prices will drop. And everybody with their old school, the old school value is going to go up. And gas is going to go low and we can all have fun in our gas guzzling. Thank God I don't have that 454. But I'm trying to enjoy my Chevelle. Y'all be trying to tell me to put that big, big old. Y'all want me to put that big old engine up in uh my Chevelle gas guzzling. Put that 454, man. I don't. I'm not messing with the carburetors. Um, I don't need no big man. I got this six two, and I don't even be. Well, I do be smashing a lightweight, but at that five three, man. I'm telling y'all, man. Don't let. Don't let the engine size fool you. Them 5.3s push. Y'all see how it's smashing in my Chevelle. I know it originally came with a 7.4 liter, but my car is so reliable. I mean, the 6.2s are reliable too. Don't get me wrong, but it's only 100 more horsepower. I could put a cam in it or whatever, or turbo it and get more, but I'm, I'm actually satisfied with the horsepower it got, to be honest with you. I mean, it does whatever I need it to do. Plus, if y'all guys on a, like, that's a, like, if you're on a budget, then go get one of those older uh, LS 5.3s. But if, I mean, so that's all that, that makes the difference of the bill. I know a lot of people are like, how much it costs you? It all depends on, you know, how much you pay for the transmission and the motor, you know? I got me a good deal. I paid 3800 I'm going to tell y'all straight up. I paid 3800 What is he doing? Fighting himself? Shadow boxing? Um, yeah, I paid 3800 It depends on 
if you know how to install it yourself or what they charge. So if y'all guys want to go through the people, call up there or go up there and ask them how much they charge to do it. Intense Audio. Go ahead, call them and ask them how much they charge to do a, a LT or LS swap. And it all depends on your motor and transmission, but as far as it's labor, you know, ask them and have them. It's really better to have them go ahead and buy it or find them where if something go wrong, they can return it or whatever. You know what I mean? If you come with your own stuff and then that stuff is, is blown up and not working and then they and then they still charge you to do it and they got to do two jobs, man, you, you're going to be wasting money. So it's better let them pick, you know, if you, they'll tell you how much the motor and transmission, let them locate it for you. And if you cool with that price, then go for it. But it just depends on the drivetrain you want. You know what I mean? So that's all that uh, really uh, what it all has to do with, man, of the price. It's going to be different different cars different everything like they gotta do some welding to fit that to fit that big uh transmission in there it's a six speed you know those cars come with what three speed from the factory so yeah it's gonna be a big difference but um anyways guys man i'm gonna holler at y'all i gotta go handle some business gotta run here go there but i'll holler at y'all when i get over there to the trailer place where i could go get those tires changed and then i'm gonna go uh get the trailer and then take the trailer over there and see what else they can do because i'm gonna try to buy all four tires but i need two for right now and then i'm gonna come back i'm gonna bring the whole trailer for they can change the other two on the other side and uh then we're gonna see i'm gonna talk to them about this doing the service the maintenance on the on the trailer you know what i mean so i need all that fixed for whenever i'm ready i can go out of town or and then so I need the trailer for I can get that uh, 71 uh, Monte Carlo up and going. You know, uh, I don't know who I'm gonna have working on it. It might be, a, um, I don't know, it might be an oil filter, uh, 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 filter housing leaking. Uh, it might be valve covers, the lower valve, co I don't I don't know exactly what's leaking. I think it might be leaking from the, the, the bottom of the valve covers going all the way down onto onto there and i this this truck when it shuts off i always think something's wrong with it i know i said that yesterday but man but um anyways guys man we on to the next let's get it i found me the spot man custom trailer uh sales and they can um basically fix everything i need for my trailer um y'all guys don't remember this is where i um got my two-wheel trailer i bought it brand new i forgot how much i paid i think i paid i can't remember what i paid 1800 i think i paid 2000 for my trailer um, oh, they got a whole bunch of other they got all types of trailers everything you need up over here and they do the cut they do work on them see this is where i got my trailer from over here exactly when i got i think i paid 1800 for it i got the 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 brakes and everything and it's, oh Man, they done went up. This one's $24.95 and that one's $19.95. I forgot what was the difference. And um, maybe I did pay. Why is that one more? Hold on. That's this one, $19.95. Yeah, this look like my, the one I, well, I don't know change that up. Oh, this one got the brake on do not tow also oh, i think i got the 1995 so i think i paid about two thousand for mine and then like i paid that's i bought mine's brand new from up here and i also bought um my trailer the full size the metal one i've been using that i'm buying the tires for for two two thousand and that's a good deal because they sell theirs up here for sixty five hundred and i think What's that for the wooden one? I think they're like a thousand dollars different. They have the wooden one and the metal one, the steel one. Uh, let's go walk over here and see what else they got over here. I'm over actually waiting. To, uh, I'm gonna get two tires changed. I'm gonna mount them back up on the trailer. I'm gonna come back up here and drop my trailer off so they can work on it. I gotta change the tires on them. Uh, so I'm putting all fucking new tires on them. Oh yeah. 
would be liking. They like having this. But I think I got a good trailer. You know, they could repair every little thing on it. Let's see, they got prices on these ones. Like, it got the job done. Don't get me wrong. I picked up, I've been out of town a few times. It's just, oh, and then they could change these for me too if I want to. Like Unc said, it's cheaper to keep her. It's cheaper to keep her, man. So I'm just going to, I mean, ain't nothing really wrong with it. Hey, look. So they want $65.95. So, and this the wood one. So I think the one I got is pretty, pretty good. What they want for this one. 50, so $55.95 for this one. I bet you that's probably how much mine's worth when I got it. So the tires, I'm probably gonna spend like what, 500, so I'll have 2,500 in mine. Um, probably have them just the brakes. Probably be another hundred bucks or whatever. And now I'm gonna have them put the uh, winch on there. I gotta make sure that winch work first. I'm gonna have them just weld that on there. They can get that on there for me. I should be in the game, man. Be ready to haul some stuff. And then once I haul that, I'm gonna go ahead and go uh, haul that 71. My, friend, my trailer looks something like this. I'm gonna haul that 71 Monte Carlo. Um, I didn't even talk to Jenner and them. Talk to my original mechanic, see if they can't even fix that or not. I don't know what, it's not even December. Um, I know they, uh, Smitty's, they can't get it in until January, so that's kind of far out. I kind of wanted to be able to start it and move it around. Um, but yeah, this one fifty three ninety five, which I don't think is bad. So this is like the one I got. Hmm. It's not bad. It's not bad at all for a brand new trailer. And this is kind of like, it look like kind of very similar to the one I got. If not, I don't know, is it bigger? I don't know. I think mine might be a, a 18. So this is like 20 cents. So it's like a little bit longer. But the one I got works fine enough for all my cars, all my vehicles that I'm gonna be buying while I'm moving around. So I think I did pretty good. See what else they got. What is these things going for? Eleven thousand. Yeah, this stuff be costing some money. I, mean, I ain't really know, cause y'all know I, I'm new on the scene with these trailer stuff. So this is what you want if you got like something you don't want stuff flying into your your nice car. So this is like the shield or whatever. But how much is these? Yeah, I might need to give me a spare too. Might need to give me a rim and a spare. I'm on a budget right now though. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I got so much going on. I need I need to recoup some of this money. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I need to recoup some of this money. I don't got it like that. I don't got no money like that. I ain't even gonna lie. Man, I gotta recoup some of this money, man. Doing that uh, LT swap on that Monte Carlo, that's not cheap. Uh, you know, getting my Chevelle already, that's not cheap. I right, man, I need to, I need to recoup some of this money before I start trying to spend money. But I gotta get the trailer right. Ain't no point in the trailer just sitting there in the yard and can't use it. And I gotta go rent me a damn U-Haul just to, if I want to go pick up a car. You know what I mean? I want to have my thing ready, locked and loaded, and ready to go. So I'm going with all new tires on all the way around. I told them hopefully I can uh, still work that uh, trailer I got. I don't know how much this one. This is a nice one, but hey, I'm buying this stuff to work. I don't need no pretty, beautiful trailer. Man, they want 71, 71.95 for this one. I think I did pretty good. This is, I think this looks a little wider. Stand up on this one. Wood one. I think I like the, I like the steel ones. I ain't got all types of trailers, but I'm glad they I found the spot. And I'm like, man, you come out, you come out better. 
just fixing fixing that one up. I was like, yeah, I was like, man, I'm just gonna throw some tires on it and sell it. Get my money back from it. And I was like, man, it's cheaper to keep her. Uh, oh, let me look at this blue one over there. Look at this red one. I only want for this one. Man, it looks kind of ugly. The black ones look the best. Are these gray? The gray ones look the best. Oh, it's used. It looks like someone probably repainted it. I don't know how much they want for it. He says repo. Wicked trailers. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. But let's see what else. Trying to get these prices 60, 695. Has they sold this one? I don't know. I think I got a good trailer for what I got. Let's see. $74.95. I wonder how much mine was worth when they... Cash only. $42.95. Are they selling other people's trailers up here? My trailer this one's good but i think i'm cool i think i got a good buy oh he got that let me see how he put this on there yeah, just because i don't want to put a spare on my stuff oh he got that i don't know do i got this he could probably weld that on there that's cool to have spare or just have one laying in the back of the uh, truck, right? I'm gonna get that fancy, fancy. Oh man, I'm gonna twist my ankles on one of these big boulder rocks. But um, I'll let y'all, oh, look, they got, what the hell is that though? Oh, they about to, they got it jacked up in there. They about to change the tires or whatever, I don't know. Oh, he's about to load it up on there. They about to be buying two trailers, three trailers. Oh, oh they're probably gonna be loading up the trailers. That's crazy. Oh yeah, let me go in here and check on my two tires. So what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna change, uh, get my two tires, uh, mount them on my trailer, come back up here, uh, have them mount the other two sides. It's not busted yet. And I want all new tires. Then I'm gonna have them uh, fix the electric brake on it and uh, mount and wire the uh, the little winch. I think that's what it's called, the winch. Right, right over here. I need to make sure it works first. So, yeah, or what's a spool, free spool. I don't know, but um, make sure that thing works. I got that fit right. Just in case if a car breaks down, I mean, I can go pick it up or just pull it up on a trailer. Got the brand new tires on there. Oh man, so much better. I think the mother one's probably dry right there or whatever the case was, but I got the two 25, 75, 15s. So it should be in good shape. So now we're about to change those tires out let me walk over here and hey, it's great help i got me a new hitch on there 36 bucks got me a new one of these a uh, new jack they just installed this on there looking good 50 bucks uh, but now it sits way lower i mean i'm happier it uh it sits more way more lower because this is where is it at there we go one I had on there before. It's a big difference. Let me show y'all. By the way, I'm gonna sell this one. Wrap it up. I should wrap it up and give it to Unc for Christmas. 
<laughs> but look, you see the difference? It sits up like this. Big difference. Big difference. This is uh, what's that? a two and two and one fourth drop, and this is a six drop. Big difference. Big difference. Six drop, six inch drop, and one and one four. I mean two and one fourth drops. So. I know I should be good. Oh, and then, and this was why the brake was locking up because of this pin has to be in there because it was sending the power to the electric and triggering off the electric. So I'm in good shape now. Got me back brand new. Let's do it. Yeah. Now I'm in good shape. Yeah. Run through the car wash, you're good to go. Hell yeah. Yeah, I never I never washed this off before. But I, I'll be good, wash it off, put some tire shine on there. <laughs> shine them up. Cause that other one was way off. The other one was higher and the other one was lower. The tires was yeah, they gave you a 205 and a 225. Oh 205 and oh Oh. Yeah, like now you got a full set 225. And it's dropped. Now it should drive way smooth. I'll, I'll be able to tell just by going 10 miles per hour if it's going to wobble or if it's going to shake. But I, I should yep. be in good shape. Mm -hmm. Should be good shape. And then, like, like you said, it ain't hard to flip that ball over. So if you do decide to change that. That one, yeah. You can always switch back or whatever you want oh, to do. Oh, to turn it around. No, I think this would be fine. That other setup was too, it was too off. Yeah. I think this should be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, you can test off. So it's up. Good setup. He said my wiring was good. So I'm gonna have to come back, make appointment. So they're gonna uh, probably could put the winch on there. I'm gonna have to get a, another battery set up. Get a battery set up and have this winch installed. It's gonna take us two. I'll probably come next week and get it installed. So y'all stay tuned for that video. I shine them up one time, you know, brand new tires. You know what I mean? Shine them up just a little bit. You see the difference? Shiny, dry. I'm gonna shine them up. One time. Let's see how this trailer do it. Oh man. They're probably still gonna scrape. This is a long trailer. It didn't scrape. Let's see how it does. Break. Gain, not recall. I don't want to eat up my new tires now. Check tail. I'll check tail brake light. So the tail brake, the light is out. I just want to make sure. Pulling good enough. Doing ten times better. Yeah, it's, it's pretty smooth. It's very, it's way better, y'all. Way better. Check right. Hold on, is it? Check trailer brake lights. Okay. Check right trailer turn signal. I think all that stuff ripped out for when that tire got a flat, y'all, and it started flapping and doing all that, man. But um, 
I guess this is gonna be it, man. Um, I'm happy I got my trailer fixed. I saved some money. I told him I paid two thousand. He said, "Man, yeah, because these trailers up here is expensive. Sixty-five, seventy-five, like yeah. And all I just put all new tires on there. Uh, what I ended up, I showed y'all the prices of that, but the tires, it wasn't cheap, but man, I, had, I had to get them done, man. I had to get them done. I think they're like." 115 a piece or something so i ended up paying like five or six hundred dollars up there with them man to get them to get this trailer back on track man because it, hey, it's my money go get her man i'm gonna make the money back i ain't tripping i just want it done right um so i that's all i gotta do and then i'm probably come back uh get the winch installed and go get those lights uh re rewired or whatever if i could have uh tail lights or brake lights and all that so that's what I'm gonna do next week. I'm gonna bring it, but other than that, man, let me try to push it. Let's see how fast I'm going. Make sure it's not shaking. Oh yeah, much better. I'm pretty sure faster I go, smoother it gets, but it's pretty smooth other than that. But uh, anyways, guys, shout out to the whole Lucky Nation. But just like that, this video is over. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, subscribe. Look at what's in this one, I'm out. Yay! What up, Lucky Nation? Hey, y'all got a chance to win this car for $25. $25, man. Hey, y'all waste more money on that on fast food. $25, man. You see it? The 20, the 20, the 20 twins, and the five, man. You can win this ride right here, man. All customed out. But yeah, the link is down below in the comment box and the description. And um, all you gotta do is enter the win, man. 25 bucks, you can take this car home, man. $25, man. I know y'all got it, man. And we're gonna feed the homeless. So it's going to a good cause. I'm not just gonna waste the money or whatever. I wanna feed the homeless. So we got aftermarket lights, custom rim. Look at the wheels. Custom tail light, carbon fiber, everything. Look at the roof. Carbon fiber. S, S, baby. Here goes the inside. You can see it. We got amps and extra battery feel the base oh can't forget the heart of the car the engine oh yeah 5.3 two four three heads so i got the ls2 heads on there you see it reverse reverse like i said y'all 25 dollars. you can get this car into the raffle we're about to feed the homeless and uh we're gonna turn on also gonna record that too just because y'all don't believe me and we're gonna go live for the giveaway. So y'all make sure y'all enter the raffle, man. The comments below, uh, just hit the link, man, and, and then everything from there. I think you need a credit card or whatever, but hey, you be good. 25, man. Hey, it's a sign, man. Let's get it. Yay! <laughs> Cuss, cuss, on the hood of the scraper.